Welcome to New York, huh? Um, obviously, I'm a, a, a fan of Tony Bennett, but I don't know him personally. But Harry Belafonte is somebody I've known personally for a number of years. Uh, and he is an incredible American hero in a way that I think many people don't know. I mean, we all know him as a great entertainer. But from way back when, uh, he was a fighter for racial justice, uh, for economic justice, a very strong supporter in many, many ways of Dr. King, uh, and was way ahead of his time in standing up for economic and racial justice. So uh, as, as somebody who loves him very much and admires him, it's an honor for me to be here. But there is another side. There was a group on this side, you can call them the left, you've just called them the left, that came violently attacking the other group. So you can say what you want, but that's the way it is. All the strides we've made towards racial justice and harmony, a lot of that in the last couple of years has taken steps back. Yeah. What would you do to make this better? Well, you know, we have a president, and I say this without any joy in my heart, who's a racist. It's hard to believe that we have a president of the United States who is, in fact, a racist. Uh, you know, as president of the United States, uh, what I would be doing is bringing our people together uh, to create a nation that works for all of us and not just the 1%, to deal with the racism, uh, the disparities that exist, uh, not only between the rich and the poor, but between whites and blacks. Um, and uh, that would certainly be a major priority of a Sanders administration. There are some really good people. You know, I'm, I'm proud of the campaign that we are running. Uh, we now have over a million volunteers, a million volunteers, who are prepared to roll up their sleeves and, and help me not only win the Democratic nomination, not only beat Trump, but to help transform this country so that we have an economy and a government that works for all of us and not just the 1%. But, you know, you're not going to hear me disparaging some of my Democratic opponents. They're friends of mine and they're good people. What gives you the energy to keep on? Well, when you're 28 years of age, you know, it's, it ain't hard. Thank you. Thank you.